God knows you better. He knows where should you go and where you should not. This is why when you walk on the wrong path, God has to put some obstacles in your way to stop moving ahead in the wrong direction. The word of God in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 20 tells us that God wants us to be committed to developing the character of Jesus Christ in our own lives and then go out as Christ's ambassadors to the world. We are here to follow in the footsteps of Jesus and not of the devil. So always make sure that you are walking on the path of righteousness and not of evil things. Because when we truly commit to walking in love, it usually causes a huge shift in our lifestyle. Remember that we are humans and having some amount of fear in our hearts is natural. But it is our duty to ensure that as soon as the fear strikes our heart, we must remind ourselves that we serve an omnipresent God who can help us cross all our fears. So just get on your knees and ask for the blessings of the Lord. Then stand on your feet and do what you are asked to do. Know that when we make big decisions, we can take comfort in His sovereign will. because no matter what we do we cannot ruin god's ultimate plans remember that every new day brings up hope and light so don't ruin your present for the things you don't have control over them because your help does not come from the people it comes from the lord and through people and as long as you are following in his footsteps you will never walk on the wrong path may you always walk on the right path may the lord bless you abundantly say amen